Sylvain d'avoir été avec nous, un voilà. Val d'Oise, euh, de témoignages intéressants. Yves Guérard, par parole de, oui. de l'automobile de l'association. On entend le témoignage de Sylvain. Bon, voilà, c'est un exemple de... Morning. We're in Dompierre on Evelyne or Mancor, so Yvette. Locals call them to will about both names. So we're currently southwest of Paris. So if Fontainebleau is at six o'clock, one o'clock, then we're at about eight o'clock at the moment near Rambouillet in the Haute Valley de Chevreuse. I started coming here about 20 years ago, long time now. And I think I've climbed everything I could possibly climb here. But it's still lovely to come back from time to time. I don't live too far away from here. So it's quite cool for a quick visit. A bit of movement in a, in a really nice place. And I remember bringing my, my children here when they were tiny. Just roping them up with little harnesses. All the way to the point now where I've been climbing with my son. Who's been doing all of the hardest things here. While I just watch and clap. So it's a really nice place for a couple of hours. And in fact, this film has been made and compiled from about two visits. So I hope that's not too confusing. One on my own today, and the last one I did a few days ago with two of my kids. And uh, it's my son that climbs everything I do, although he does it all in flip-flops. So good. Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah. recording. <laughs> nice. Nice one. Whoa, tricky top out. <laughs>
so Don Pierre. So I've been here loads of times. Beautiful place. Loads of stories. I've seen wild boar here. Came here very early one morning, one summer, on a really hot day. Tried to avoid the heat, and we woke up some wild boar on the path. Bit of a shock for everybody. I stood on a snake, which is quite exciting. I was wearing flip-flops at the time, not a great idea. But I think my most stunning memory of Dompierre is coming climbing once on my own a few years ago now. And uh, meeting some naked climbers, which was quite exciting. I wasn't really sure they were naked because they were at the top of the hill and I was at the bottom. But I was squinting, trying to make out, thinking they're wearing, oh, they're wearing flesh-coloured shorts, those people. And I'm really trying to make out, are they really climbing nude? Well, I had a chalk bag and, and shoes on and bouldering mats. And it was only when one of the guys did a heel hook that I thought, oh yes, oh yes, they are definitely naked. Again. Well, that's tricky. Okay. I don't think you get it, I was looking at the forest. I'm just replying to the uh, Jude. They, he... when, what day is on graduation? 28th. Oh, what a lovely Sunday afternoon that was. So as my feet leave the frame of this cell, uh, that final boulder, we're approaching the end of the film. I hope you've enjoyed it. The really short introduction to Dom Pierre and the climbing to be found at this really popular local site. So if you're ever in the area and you fancy exploring somewhere a little bit different, or you went to your, uh, you're on the way in or the way out from Fontainebleau, then I'm going to put a link to the great website, Blow Info, in the comment sections below that will give you full instructions and details about how to get there and where to find all of the boulders. And you can have a climb there, enjoy some movement, and maybe have a coffee in the local village. So I'm just going to have a coffee myself and enjoy the quiet of Dompierre. So thanks again for watching, and happy climbing. <laughs>